you're welcome. Shalom. Kohalayim. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahusha. Bahashem Waka Kwadash. My name is Lamadia. And the name of this video is going to be entitled Congreg Congregation of the Dead. So now, what we're looking at is a few new bug outs out of the London camp that, you know, pretty much was cast away through the spirit. And we see we seen a trend of, of a lot of guys that was former members of GMS. And now they out there teaching something contrary to the gospel or what they was taught and teaching something contrary to the truth. And and what's gonna happen is most high the most high is gonna destroy these guys. Because you like a other apostle other apostle always say, man, you can play games with men, but you don't play games with the most high. And by play, playing games with the most high, the most high is gonna hold you accountable. And he's going to destroy you. That's why, you, got, you know, you see the picture with these guys in the midst of zombies. Because now they members of the congregation of the dead. Pursuing to um the book of Proverbs 21 and 16. Now here's. Give me one second. Now here's. Here's their channel. And, and it's supposed to read out Yahweh Shah, but it's put Yahweh Shah name wrong. It's put, the way it's pretty much pronounced Yahweh Shay. You know, they spelled it incorrect. So they got here Yahweh Shah elect no one. Now, as you see on the screen, they have a pair of what they say in the 12 tribes of Israel are and they are in West Africa. So pretty much what they saying that all 12 tribes have Negro features. So you see here, they got Reuben, the, the Congo people, Simeon, Ghana, Levi, the people of Benin, Judah, Ghana, to the Ivory Coast, Ishakar, Mali, on down. So they pretty much saying that the Latin tribes are not um, of the trials of Israel. And these guys, they bug outs, man. They bug outs. And, you know, eventually that demonic fire is going to burn out. And these guys going to fade, fade away or going to be dissension between them. God's going to leave. You know, the guy's going to leave one by one. Or it might just happen where they just break up, you know, on the spot. But eventually the most high gonna break this thing apart. Because it's not it's not of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah. So now let's read John ten and twenty seven. I'm going to start at 26. Now, if you notice, the wording is in red. That means Yahweh Shah is speaking. So St. John 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So any guys that follow these guys, you're not of Yahweh Shah's sheep. You know, because you're not, once you start following these guys, you're not following it, Yahweh Shah no more. You're pretty much being led by Satan. Verse 28, and I will give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So, the elect is not going to fall for none of this madness. And I'm just using these guys as an example because there's many more 
of false prophets out there proclaiming that, that they have the truth of the Most High or they receive some sort of revelation from the Lord and misleading, you know, certain men. But if if a person get misled by these guys, that's the Most High because the Lord said that the deceived and the deceiver are his. So if you fall for it, that just means you was never of the elect. Because the Lord said um, that the elect can, cannot be plucked out of his hand. Now let's go to Matthew 24. Where the Lord, Yahweh Shah, warned us about these times. And, the, and, and um, that we was going to experience a lot of false prophets. So let me, let me, give me, let me start at three. Give me one second. Uh, this is Matthew 24 and three. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when should these things be? What things were the disciples talking about? The events that Yahweh Shah was speaking about which is prophecy and um, what's going to lead into the kingdom of Israel. So it was asking, when should these things be? And what should be the sign of thy coming? So they, they was asking when your house child is going to come back and deliver them. Right. And it says, and the end of the world. And Yahweh shot answer and sent unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many should come in my name, saying, I am anointed and should deceive many. Now you have people saying that they was the Messiah. And you even have people saying they come in the name of Yahweh Shah. But they're not teaching the true um, gospel of Yahweh Shah. They're teaching the, the gospel of Satan. And they might actually say the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And many shall be deceived, but the elect won't be deceived. Verse uh, six, and ye shall hear of rumors, so like you, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that's why we see um, war growing right now in the Middle East. That's the most high gathering the nations for war. Because there will be a ground battle and that ground battle is going to escalate to a nuclear destruction. Um, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall and there shall be uh, famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So that means some of some of the righteous is going to be um, put to death for their righteousness sake because some of the elect is going to play as martyrs but the Lord is going to resurrect them back up. So you don't fear, you don't fear your life. Verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And that's what we're seeing right now. Many false prophets arising. But the most high is gonna eventually put these guys to death. You got these guys, um, um well these guys of course, these these clowns, then you got spiritual life lessons, and on you know, on and so forth. There's so many of these guys. So the most high is gonna destroy all the ones that's taking his word and adding and taking away 
from his word. Second Corinthians 11 and 13. But such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Yahweh Shah. And no, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Because th these guys appeared righteous. You know, they got the garment. They have a beard. But, um, you know, they're going off. They have a righteous outward appearance. But inwardly, they have, they have a dark spirit in them. Now it says, um, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end should be according to their works. Uh, give me one second. Okay, it's like you. Now to go to second um Peters. Ah oh, man. Uh, I lost it by mistake. Okay, second Peters two and one. But there was false prophets also among the people, even as there should be false teachers among you. And, and as of right now, GMS is the only one really teaching the, the, the full truth. You got guys, you know, saying that there, there won't be no Jacob's trouble. You got guys teaching um, uh, the hell doctrine. You got other guys teaching a flea doctrine. You know, that you're supposed to pack your things and, blo and buy a plane ticket and leave. So these are all false teachers. Now it says, who, pri who privily should bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. But that's what's going to happen. After all the deceiving, the outcome is going to be destruction. Well, give me one second. Let me try to find the scripture. There's one in James. I think it's hold on. Let me let me try Second Peter's the third chapter. I'm not sure is um there, yeah there you go. I thought it was in the book of James. So, um, let me see where I should start at. Okay. Second Peter 3 16. 
as also in all his epistles speaking in dumb of of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which you know what okay start at 15 and an account that the long suffering of our lord is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. As also in all his epistles, epistles or letters, speaking in dumb of the of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, because um the Lord have revealed things unto Paul that he had he have not revealed unto the disciples. And, you know, some of the things was, was hard to be understood. It was deep things. And it says, which they that are, are unlearned and unstable rest. Now, the word rest means to wrestle or to fight or to struggle. As they do also the other scriptures. And that's what it is with these other guys. They want to get, they want to break down these scriptures. That's hard for them to understand. Which, which it shouldn't be hard to understand because, you know, GMS got it right. But their pride and their ego will not allow them to click on a GMS video, beginning with the Elder Post Hall, because they have too much pride. So they try to break it down themselves, and they break it down wrong. And they be wrestling and fighting to break down these scriptures as they do also the other scriptures Onto their own destruction. So they're gonna they're gonna break these scriptures down wrong until they be destroyed. So just you know, in closing, just you know, keep in mind a lot of these guys that's calling themselves Israel Israelites don't know the scriptures. And that's why we say just stick with GMS, because with GMS you can't go wrong. You know, we break we break things down the correct way, the way the Lord intended us to break it down. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Until next time, call I am Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rukal Kodash Shalom. That's